So, you're using actually Photoshop, but you're asking yourself, how can I make that image? Oh my God, let me just switch back again. Now, I've taken a couple of images with my camera outside and I'm like, yo, how can I adjust these images? And I'm like, dang, can I just purchase online a color loot? Or can I just make my own color loot? Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy here, Abdurrahim Bakke, and with another great, amazing uh, graphics video. And actually today, the main point of actually, um, I've been using that word frequently on my video. Okay, um, the main point of uh, this video today is all about you understand how you can use gradients. Now, you have taken a lot of pictures and how can you just transform gradients into a color load? Now, it's quite easy and I thought that I, can, I could share with you guys so as you guys, you can make it on your own kind of workspace. So, for further info, let us just go there to the machine and see how the workflow gets started. So, yeah. So I'm inside Photoshop right now, as you can see guys, there's a lot of stuff here going on, like the image which I've taken, it's highlighted image. Now, this kind of highlighted image seems to be so great, but uh, there's a little bit of highlights here, highlights, too much of highlights. Now, these kind of highlights, they're so great because they, they make the subject not seen clearly, and your object here, the subject I mean, um, you can call it an object, a subject, a workspace, anything you name it now your workspace here it's so great and um, what we're gonna do here we're gonna do some a little bit of gradient applying them with colors now let us just do this way let us just create do sh control shift plus n and enter to create a new layer that's a shortcut for creating a new layer then the second thing is clicking on the gradient section now there are a lot of stuff going on with the gradient some of you guys know this kind of uh, default gradient which are these ones which can pop up here sometimes you can click on the setting side and you can go all the way to different types of gradient now we have photographic toning we are having noise samples we are having neutral density now I just need photographic toning now photographic toning gives you a lot of and a lot of uh gradients which are, actually they come by default because photoshop they just did it already for you now you can choose any you want now like my image just needs the sepia antico because of the way my subject dressed she she dressed actually like a goldish and stuff like that now click ok then after that just uh do this way just zoom up then press g again on the keyboard then just uh, scroll this way because we are using a linear gradient now after that just having the gradient here now check out how the magic gonna happen now just release a little bit of opacity to be a little bit minimum then you can see our image right now is a little bit focused with that kind of vibrance of the filter now gradient help you getting that kind of filter but not yet now do control plus l to get that levels put it aside then adjust it a little bit a little bit to give it sharpness sharpness and contrasty then after that just push it a little bit of opacity up to there now we are having our image clearly seen with using only the gradient now after using that gradient we can do a little bit of masking here now after masking we can just erase some kind of stuff here which i think i i would like and something else i don't like them and uh, i'm like yeah so the bunch of stuff here we may just uh, like uh, release them like um, eyes you can zoom in on the eyes we don't need that too much sepia on the eyes so let us just um, adjust it a little bit this way now don't do too much of it to go outside the bound just there Whoa. that looks so great so after that just zoom out a little bit then go in again on your subject then increase a little bit of it till there and, and that's too much that's too much that's too much then yeah I think from there it's, it looks fine now from this side you can see our picture right now just has a gradient filter 
inside of it i just did a mask so as i can just remove the subject which is too much of sepia so i was like yeah this is so great now after that you can see there is a, a little bit of uh, shading shading too much darkness now we can adjust it by just doing this way Control shift plus a then we get that gradient or we can go here and select just camera row because sometimes it works sometimes i don't know uh, i've been pressing it but it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work now after that just adjust the contrast a little bit then a little bit of uh, exposure then we have the whites now the whites they can eliminate the background like how i said guys uh, the, too much of whites can eliminate the background and um, you can see the background is a little bit gone and the building here doesn't seem to be so clearly now that's what we want a little bit of it not that much too much it won't be that much great now keep it at 31 positive and we have this one which is blacks now after that there's clarity which gives a little bit of hdr we don't need hdr there we decrease it to there then you can see our facial right now is smooth because i decreased clarity now we have dehaze now too much of dehaze it shows you how much you can get that hdr look now our picture looks so stunning this is so dope and uh increase of it then saturation don't touch it that's just leave it as the way it is then just click ok then you have our image there uh, oh la la this looks so great now you can see the toning of here and the toning of the image looks a little bit quite different because we change a little bit of clarity and dehaze and we reduce that kind of highlight so this is how you can transform an image by using only a gradient and you can get that color loot which you want now let's get back here again so i'm just throwing my color loots and i would like to share with you guys some some few color loots which i did and i'm i'm trying to upload them on monday uh if possible if i can make it happen as quick as fast so yeah so let me just go here and share with you guys some color loots now i got some color loots here which i did it already and they're coming soon on monday so this is my pack of color loot i did with sunshine this is sunshine if you didn't check out that log make sure that you click this arrow here up click here on this card it will take you definitely to the vlog so yeah that's what's up so thank you guys for watching if you love this video of today make sure that you hit that thumbs up and if you'd like to drop a comment about how you can apply a gradient as a graphic designer not only a graphic designer a photographer or anyone who's working with photography this is a tip whereby you can apply it and you guys if you have any kind of comments you can throw it down on the comment section down below so as we can just begin so yeah so thank you guys for watching and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace